harvest dances they have in Portugal. But you've got to go to another part of Britain to get that. They're dancing the Vera on a Douro riverboat, a craft unchanged in 300 scurrying years. These are the boats that carry the casks of wine on a three-day journey down the turbulent river from the vineyards to the docks at Oporto, the place that gives port wine its famous name. The strange continental things you can find in Britain. For this Portuguese wine boat has been towed away from its own swift flowing river to add some gaiety and colour to Old Father Thames. The captain steers with a heavy tiller that doubles the length of his 70-foot craft. He needs it in the dangerous rapids of the Douro. Those girls are expert at embroidery. They made those dresses themselves in traditional colour and style. When the wind blows fair, they ship those monster oars and get ready to hoist a giant square-rigged sail. There's plenty to keep a crew of seven busy on this cockleshell craft. Plenty for us to feast our eyes on for our continental holiday at home. No Thames swan sailed so proudly. We've gone a long way on the road to romance since we left our gondola in the backwaters of a drab canal. We've travelled through a shimmering sea of lavender. Now, in full sail, we're heading downriver on an ebb tide on a trip that puts sunshine in our hearts, music in our ears. And that sense of timelessness that even a glimpse of that famous clock of ours, Big Ben, can hardly erase. The Thames has become a highway to happiness.